Georg Lukacs was an influential thinker in education and media, advocating for the revolutionary destruction of existing culture to make way for a new Marxist culture. He believed that overturning existing values was necessary for this to happen. With this belief, he co-founded the Institute of Social Research at Frankfurt University in Frankfurt, Germany, in 1923. The Institute, also known as the Frankfurt School, served as a model for other Marx-Engels institutes worldwide. When Nazis took over Germany in 1933, members of the Frankfurt School fled to different parts of Europe and some eventually made their way to America. At this point, critical theory was born. This form of criticism attempted to find fault with many principles seen as parts of Western culture, such as Christianity, capitalism, family structures like patriarchy and hierarchy, morality, loyalty and patriotism. It called for a total overthrow of these values and replaced them with something entirely new, something revolutionary that could become commonplace. The 1960s brought about revolutionary changes in many aspects of society, such as gender roles and racial equality, which saw Herbert Marcuse come into prominence as a member of the Frankfurt School. His most famous ideas were what he called, the Great Refusal, which encouraged people to reject conventional practices and accept sexual liberation as well as embrace feminist and black movements, which could lead to a revolution against traditional authority figures. He firmly believed that if university students from all walks of life combined their efforts with those from the ghettos, they would have an even greater chance of overthrowing existing power structures. These days political correctness is championed by advocates who prefer to focus on sensitivity towards others while promoting tolerance regardless of race or gender differences. However, this is merely a facade hiding its true agenda. Using culture as a weapon so that dissenting voices cannot be heard or accepted within society unless they abide by the views of PC activists. It seeks to impede free speech and prevent objective intellectual inquiry lest it threatens its existence. All under the guise of diversity. Political correctness has come a long way in the last 50 years, and its influence is still felt in society today. It's no wonder that Herbert Marcuse is considered the father of political correctness. He enormously impacted how we think about culture and how it can be used to challenge existing values while simultaneously promoting new ones. His work continues to shape discussions of social justice and cultural change worldwide, and his legacy lives on.